Hello everyone, welcome! Today is another update of stuff. So, first thing, uh, these are um, scattered for a good bit here, so I'm going to go through a mix of things. So, first, I finally got a decent deal for a copy of Sukhden for one of the final entries of the series that I didn't own, not counting uh, some of the Japanese spin-offs. It's complete. It's in very nice condition. I still paid a little bit for it, but it was a lot better than when it goes for online. I found a random copy. Now, they were having a sale at the Samaritan Thrift Store, uh, but I forgot to show this off. But it was um, Putt-Putt's Fun Pack, which I think is the only other game that has Fatty Bear in it. And that is also um, not on the Steam Humble um, um, fun pack thing that has like most of the uh, the Humongous games. Which, speaking of kid educa uh, kid education games, uh, along with that, again, like they were having a sale, um, I threw in this gem. If you're actually familiar with uh, lazy game reviews, you might recognize this game. It's it's in okay condition. But, um, and this is the deluxe version of the game. Um, I would have probably normally passed this, but since they were doing, like, uh, buy, like, five for a dollar, so I, you got that, a few born discs in it. Uh, along with that, which was also part of it, was, uh, Freddy, Freddy Fish and, the uh, Missing Culp Seeds. Um, I couldn't remember if I had a physical copy of this. I did. But this is actually a different, um, version of it. So I have two alternative uh, cover arts of it. Something I got at Goodwill was the new Yoshi's Island for half that price. For I basically got for like ten dollars, uh, which was great to be honest. And as far as I could tell, it's complete, uh, assuming it had no actual original manual, which I'm not sure. But that was a pretty good deal on that. That was that one was today. Um, this one's a few weeks old. The Calling. This is a game I've been looking for. It uh, went for a good bit online. So it was actually really surprising to see this at a GameStop and complete. They didn't even throw away the shit. I, it actually had all its stuff. Um, I was kind of surprised because this usually goes for about $60 online. It seems a few copies have popped up. So a lot of people have been talking about... Uh, a possibility that somebody we printed it, but since it was by Hudson Soft in the publishing, that meant uh, Konami would have had to have done it because Konami owns Hudson Soft now. But now, uh, for some of the dumpster diving stuff, I took it to a very nice um, store. There was a store with a lot of games I found. I took them up there and I got a pretty good deal of about it was like 30. Yeah, I think it was like thirty-one dollars or something in credit for all the stuff. So you know, there was miscellaneous games and accessories and stuff. And I threw one of the GTA Five book guide books I found uh, with it. So it, it was kind of see what they would give, and it wasn't too bad. But um, I did get three games, and one of them I immediately grabbed at the like I didn't even need to acknowledge it. Just saw it and immediately grabbed it, and that was. Kingsfield 1, which is really Kingsfield 2 in Japan, before us is Kingsfield 1. Uh, it's in very awful condition, sadly. The case is very beat up. It does have its booklet, shockingly enough. Um, but the centerpiece for the CD is broken. And I stole the little styrofoam piece from uh, my D uh, for the... Uh, did I have the PlayStation version? I think it was the PlayStation version. I don't remember. Either I had the PlayStation version or the... Let's see. Uh, no, it's the Sega Sound version. But I stole that so that can fit in there and keep it snug and still. But, um, well, it's very sad that it's in very poor condition. Uh, usually finding long box versions of PS1 games is pretty tough. So it's still a pretty nice find, but it's just a shame it's in 
pretty beat up condition. Uh, the last Jet Set video game I needed, the GBA American Only, I, I think it's American Only, it didn't come out in Japan as far as I'm aware of. Um, not sure about Europe, but uh, THQ did a Jet, uh, did they go with Grind? Yeah, Jet Grind Radio. Uh, it is vastly different from the Dreamcast version. And I also got Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, which uh, luckily isn't as horrible as Goku's Legacy. I also got uh, Fighter's Destiny from a random little store for five dollars. Now these these next two items I actually found in dumpster diving, and they will appear in a dumpster diving video probably down the line. I still got a lot of raw video I still have to go through. But they were really exciting finds, and if you're part of my Twitter, I've shown pictures of them on Twitter, and I was just shocked. So the first one I literally found today of this recording. The other one I found last week. And it was just amazing. So here's the first thing. This is probably what's going to blow a lot of people's mind. Yeah. Pokemon Omega Ruby. Pokemon Omega Ruby in the dumpster. What the f... I'm, I'm officially starting to think that some of these are just horrible accidents. Like, you know, they're going through so many games, getting away the cases, that they slipped up and forgot a game and left it in there and threw it away with it. I, I, there were, there's no way they were on purposely. Like, either the guy threw it out to steal it, or this was a horrible mistake. There's no fucking way they legitimately threw this away. Now, admittedly, I haven't tested it yet, and I probably should have, because the only other possibility is it doesn't work. But it, it looks clean. It, there was nothing on this. It wasn't wet or anything. And as far as I can see, there's nothing... If I can get the focus, I don't see anything wrong with the contacts at all, so... I haven't tested it yet, so unless it's like a bootleg, or it doesn't work, I don't know. How the fuck this was in a dumpster? But this next one, I don't know if it's going to blow as many minds. I, personally, I would think it blows my mind more than this in a way. But, you know, it kind of depends on your fandom and that. But here's what I would have never expected in the fucking dumpster. The Wizard Edition of South Park, the Stick of Truth PS3 version. And it was actually sealed. Now, it's not sealed anymore because I've played it, but it had the game and everything. The box was sealed, the game was still in its wrap, and it's all perfectly fine. I'm not going to really whip Cartman out when I get the dumpster diving video he's in. But yeah, I mean, those, I don't see anything wrong with Cartman. And the box was sealed, like I said, so I don't, I don't understand why they threw it away. I really don't. And normally, like I said, I would say that for dumpster diving, uh, its own video, but it was just really exciting, and I haven't <laughs> put that together for a little while, because I've been busy with a lot of other stuff, and that, that was an exciting find. I, I, and really, you know, that was last weekend, and the, and the Pokemon was this weekend, so I, I found, like, probably the two best finds Ever from dumpster diving just within weeks of each other. And last thing, another thing from thrifting, this is a really odd thing. It's another board game. And it's not a normal board game, but I never even knew it came out. It's in pretty bad shape. But it is Cod Captors, the board game. <laughs> Challenge of the Cloud Spirits game. And it was let's see has advertisement from Warner Brothers and it was made by Pressman. I don't know if this thing's worth anything. Uh, I haven't checked every single part to see if everything's there, but there is a lot of stuff there. But it was just two dollars and you know I was just kind of like, eh, why not show that off. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, most of the new pickups, except for something else, but we might have to wait until next time for that one. To the lose.